Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Dot Hack Infection. In the last episode, we got the virus core we needed to continue the MSQ, but we have a side quest to do before that. But even before that, we have some mail from Mistral. Ah, I never bought anything at the regular price. If you go when they're about to close, the fresh expensive foods are more than half off. And I love to haggle it even lower, smiley face. Okay, thank you, Mistral, for a little bit of information I didn't ask for. So we have no information about this next side quest other than the fact that Gardenia mailed us and just said, hey, I'm going to be here. You should come. Or actually, I don't even think she said that. She was just, hey, I'm going to he be here. So, okay, we'll bring in Gardenia. Who is now level 17, so if she's our weakest, she's not it's weakest you. by much. I'm on my and then, who is our weakest? 18, 18, 19, 18, 18. Yeah, we just have a bunch of 18s. So taking the 18s from top to bottom is Mia, who probably won't respond. And then next is Sanjuro. Okay, so both the newbies. Oh, it's you. Wait just a minute. I think that's part of the reason why you have these people like the bonus characters they're sort of the ones who will never refuse you and don't have other things going on because mia and elk clearly have other things going on but uh so th they're hard to contact sometimes but these two i don't think will ever be difficult to contact so they will be able to fill the gaps of the team if we need them Black Rose is still waiting for us to continue the MSQ. There she is, but she can wait because we are now going to go to... Theta Beautiful Someone's Treasure Gem. Level 18. We will be fine there. So, what's in here? Do you think a Hitori Shizuka would grow here? I can't even pronounce that looking at it. I would need to practice that word. That's what you're looking for? I hope you can find it. Not here. It blossoms, then falls quietly on the mountainsides. Okay, she's my kind of girl. She's very quiet and contemplative. You're a real romantic, Gardenia. I wouldn't go that far. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, is she saying I need to... I, I don't know if she's saying I need to go into the dungeon or if I need to just look around. Let's get out of this fight first and then we can figure it out. Gardenia's poison. These I hate these wisps, man. Oh, wait, what am I worried about? Fucking data drain. Jeez. I mean, we're going to need the virus cores anyway. Now we have Earth Rod. And so every 10 data drains, you get a new book of Ryu. And, oh, I haven't even looked at the third one yet. I think we got that two episodes ago now. Or did we get it in the last episode? I don't freaking remember. Um, yes, I will cure you. Everyone chill out. Let me, let me do one thing at a time. I'm only one man with two thumbs. So, everybody relax. And then cure everybody. Okay, we'll get this treasure first. I have the fool, and then check. It's not a katana. Just chill out, Sanjuro. I'd call you a weeb, but we're in Japan in the game, so that really doesn't mean much. Okay, now while I take a second to think, Nisi is uh, fighting her own tail because it's getting in her way while she washes her butt. Cats, man. All right, what was I doing? I went, went into the... Oh, I was going to use a fairy's orb. That's it. Okay, so... I'm going to try to avoid fights here for a second. So this looks a little mountainy. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Or is it a, a dungeon thing? It, it has always seemed to always be a dungeon thing whenever anyone calls me anywhere. So... That might be it, but we can still poke around. Mandragora. Yeah, these are just mandragoras. I have always pronounced that word as mandagora or something. Like, yeah, mand mandragora. Um, so it was interesting hearing it 
pronounced this way in the game. Because that's probably the proper spelling, or pronunciation. I don't think I've ever heard the word pronounced before until this game. Alright, so... So those are the windmills that were in the one grunty message. So that must be what the structures... Um, there's, there's a... Whoa! Hold on there. Uh, one of the key words affects something called structures, and that must be what structures is. Like, if there are things about... God, Gardenia got the crap kicked out of her. Okay, guys, could, can we... Did I not say skills? Skills! Alright, we're gonna... Just do this to get this jerk out of here. Okay. And now we have a lot more antidotes to do. Whoosh. Made it to the dungeon. Let's head on inside. And we've got a regen on us. A double regen. I think the other regen... No, the other regen is a wood when I boost. When the fluffy head of a dandelion, a thought always crosses my mind. Like it would feel good if you could fly like that? No. I think it would itch when the fluff got in your ears. Uh. <laughs> okay, so it is a dungeon thing. Alright, so yeah, that's a wood element boost. Not that I I don't think that's really gonna help us all that much. Yeah, I would change to darkness there, Sanjuro, but I don't think I've got any darkness weapons in me. And that's fine. These are the jerks who resurrect each other, so I'm gonna just data drain them. Get them off the field. Um, at least... Yeah, he just even resurrected the one that I just changed. So if there's two of them alive at the same time, that becomes far more of a problem than it needs to be. But data draining one of them is good enough, because at least it'll stop him from resurrecting. Oh, and then, yeah, my uh, fairy orb. Uh, this looks like about a standard dungeon. This, yeah, it doesn't look too funky. So we can at least get through the first floor. Oh. Fantastic. One less fight to deal with. Okay. And boop. All right, well, that was nothing too impressive, but we're gaining we're gaining stuff as normal, and Gardenia seems... Ha oh, Gardenia. Maybe she likes flowers specifically or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's just get through this and see what she wants. I'm on the final floor of the dungeon now with two enemy portals west and east, and then a treasure to the north? None of these rooms look like boss rooms. So I'm not fully sure what I'm doing here, unless the treasure that is at the end is something that Gardenia wants. So I'm going to hit these side rooms first and get all of the portals open before I worry about getting that last treasure. And these freaking wisps, I've been using data drain on them just so I don't have to deal with them. And then these phantom wings are annoying too, what with the poison and such. But now we're level 21, so we're getting nice and strong. Let's antidote out of this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and uh-huh. Okay. Got ourselves a treasure. I mean, it's looking good, it's just a normal dungeon so far. Doesn't seem like anything's too weird. The fights are just annoying, but in a good way. I mean, it's challenging. We just have to watch our health, keep our uh, debuffs in check and all of that. So, haven't had to use a mage's soul yet. This is the last fight of the dungeon. And those dark witches die pretty quick if I can actually land some shots. There we go. Hey, everyone's, everyone's good and healthy. All portals are open. Okay, let's just check out this final treasure. That must be why we're here, otherwise I can't imagine what we're doing here unless we did need something out in the field. So, 
Let's see what happens. Graceful book. Major soul, yellow candy. No, well, something's happening. Did you ask me to come along so I could find this item? You think too much. Let's go back. Okay. I'm glad I hit those side rooms first. That way I could maximize my loot. Um, any other cutscene or anything? No? Okay. Guess we'll just do a little shopping then real quick. That diversion is done with, and I've tossed Sanjuro out of the party, replaced him with Black Rose, and now it's time to do what she has been wanting to do for a while. We're gonna go to Theta Curse Despaired Paradise, which is a level 20. Um, I forget where we are. Black Rose is 19. I don't remember where Gardenia is up to, but it's fine. Three. Oh crap, I need another alpha? Oh, okay. Um, all right, well, let's do another random keyword. Not a level 26. Level 18, that's fine. I'm not even really concerned about going into the dungeon for this. Um, well, that's really surprising after all the data draining I was doing. Speaking of data draining, let's look at the books of Ryu here real quick. So, those are key items. Um... Oh, I can only use them in towns. Oops. Okay, well, that's fine. So, let's use a... Oh, the Graceful Book. That's right. Physical Accuracy up by one. Okay. Cool. Did that. Alright, so now... Um, Fairy's Orb, just so I can see the... Wow, there are not very many portals on this one. Maybe that's what the portal area, uh, the portal keyword means. Um, talisman. I'm gonna write down, just gonna open a notebook file here real quick. Talisman part B equals few magic portals question mark? Save? On desktop? Thinkies. Okay. There we go. I can I can experiment with that some other time. All you have to do is, you know, leave talisman, but then change one more keyword and make sure that it works or does not work. All right, use your skills, everybody. Um, because even though we want to do a data drain, like, yeah, we're they have enough hit points that we can kind of absorb, they can absorb enough punishment. All we need is one A, Earth Rod. All right, I'm just going to grind until I get that virus core. There we go. That didn't take too long. Those fights were annoying, but we got through it. And... I can't skip that. And we got our A core. I, I am actually eager to experiment with uh, that keyword and see if that's what the magic portals thing means. That there just aren't that many out in the field or whatever. All right, here we go. And while this cutscene plays out, because I don't think I can skip it, I'm gonna also note that there were only four or five magic fields in the or magic portals in the field. It was very few. I wonder if it's loading. Oh, it must be loading the area. Oh, that makes sense because. We didn't have the normal loading screen, so it couldn't hide the this jitteriness. Is it is definitely a little different, yes. Oh, is that it? Okay. Because, see, if we use... So, let's let's use a fairy orb here. Yeah, that looks more normal. There's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 magic portals here. And none of the keywords are affecting the count, so I wonder if 16 is default or something. But luckily, there's only one between us and our dungeon, so let's go get it. Use your skills, people. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, since we just used all our A cores, let's data drain the Fire Witch, because she's tiny, so... 
Oh, Inferno Wand. Okay, well, not helpful, but that's fine. At least I've got an item as a result. And we're okay. I probably don't... Never mind, I'm actually... I'm looking at the percentage bar rather than the numbers there. I've got so many hit points now that 150 is actually... I wouldn't call it insignificant, but it's running out of significance. It's almost a third of what I have. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. I can't wait to show that to Akamura. She will despise it. Ugh, this guy's little fingies offering me entrance. Ugh, ugh, okay, ugh, ugh. God, I hope that doesn't follow me into my nightmares. Well, this is definitely a flesh wall. Looks a little different than the ones I've done before, and I don't just mean the glitch coating, because usually there's pink floors rather than green floors. Nice shot there, Black Rose. Oh, yeah, we... Damn, we didn't even take a shot from that one. Excellent, we're getting stronger. Okay. What? I'm sorry, Gardenia. She's so cranky. I get it, but man, ugh. Wall eyes. Why do there have to be wall eyeballs? So gross. Ugh, why the fingies? What? Like, none of the other dungeons we've encountered so far <coughs> have had the fingies. Like, why? Why was that necessary? <sighs> I would argue that was not necessary. And the developers of the world are sick fox. Goodness. Alright. Night Blight? That's... that's new. Alright. Um, nope, not Lorep. There we go. Nice level up for Gardenia. I need to check her level now that we're clear. She got 60, so she's probably 19 now. Because I think it's by 10s. So, like, if you fight something on level, then it's you get 50 XP. Yep, she's 19. If you fight something on level, you get 50 XP. If you fight something up a level, you get 60. Up two levels, you get 70. Up three levels, you get 80, and so on. And then it works the same way going... No, it probably doesn't work the same way going down. Because I've seen many things under... It must be a percentage. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, bloody egg. Great. That's lovely, too. Here in the flesh area. Um... Yes, I can just time skip now. We're seeing a lot of enemies again. Like, so those those swords, we saw those before on Delta server. Um, they were obviously much weaker, but and, and they were reskinned. But we're starting to see enemies repeat themselves now. Anyway, I'm going to time skip until something interesting happens. Well, this is interesting. I used a fairy orb. But it still couldn't tell me what's beyond that northernmost room, even though there is clearly a doorway there. So something funky is happening in this area. We'll have to fight through these jerks first before we can see what it is. All dungeon portals open. Okay. Doesn't mean that there's no more fights, though. Because there easily could be a boss behind that door. We clear? Excellent. Here, have yourself a health drink there, uh, Black Rose. Health drinks are starting to also really start getting outclassed. I'm pretty sure in the next server, which we're not going to see until the next game, um, but the next server probably has the level 2 health drinks that do like 400 each or something. Mm, don't like this. There's also no boss smoke, but here we go. We're buff and strong. We can handle this probably? And so, 
I shall name her Aura. Without you, she would not exist. The Shining Girl, Aura. The Thingy Dungeon is not helping. The, the, the Thingies ate all the teddy bears. Ugh. We will entrust her with our will. Our future is in her hands. She is our... You now have Harold's note. It is added to key items. What is this? A fucking nightmare. I don't know, but Aura is probably that girl. You mean the girl who gave you the bracelet? Yes. I just think it's her. Look, there's more over here. Shunning the field, broken by wave. The shadowed girl whispers, Surely I will return. Alas, the truth unbeknownst, awaiting her at journey's end. Eternal mourning for her land. I now have Epitaph Double Zero. It has added to key items. Well, that doesn't make any sense either. It will. Yeah. <laughs> God, I love how this room is just nothing like the rest of the game. It's so good. Like, it, it's... At this point, if you don't know what you're doing, especially if you're playing this blind... It's so disruptive to everything you have seen up to this point. Well, if I find anything, I'll email you. I appreciate that, Black Rose. Okay, I'll do the same. See ya. See ya. Bye. Okay. Um, well, Gardenia, if we have any items, I guess they're yours, but we didn't really get a lot in there. Yeah, blaze armors for heavies. The rods don't help her. All right, let's uh, do a little bit of shopping and then head back to the uh, OS. I almost feel a little bad for Gardenia because I keep, like, logging out without saying goodbye. I mean, she's not real, obviously, but I could disband the party instead of just Irish exiting and going back to the OS. Sorry, Gardenia. Oh, we have more news. Nero goggle sales. Sales of the goggles, which came out on the 10th of last month as a peripheral to the world, continue to be strong. The product has sold out in most stores, leaving many empty-handed. After hearing this report, Sones has decided to increase production, but officials comment that the shortage will continue for some time. But the goggles have been the bad thing. Oh, there's something else. Induced coma with online game. Stories have recently been spreading among internet users that online games may cause a player to lose consciousness and fall into a coma. The game in question is The World from CC Corp, which is currently being submitted to the Guinness Book of World Records as the highest selling game in history. The spokesperson for the CC Corp has stated the rumors have no basis in fact, and there are no plans to deal with these rumors. Sure! Probably no one's actually having a coma from this. It's fine. Look at the shiny new release. Missing. Elf. Haven't seen you in a while. I haven't seen him, seen him either. Maybe he got bored. Mm, the last time I saw him, he said that he found an interesting area that he's been exploring. So I don't think he got bored with the game. If you know it, why don't you just go there? I did, but it was protected. And he hasn't replied to my emails either. Hmm. The world reaches 20 million. Wow, it's really no-no. I'll be waiting for your email for your mail. I haven't changed my address, happy face. Oh, Flan. Why do I think Flan or No-No is going to wind up in a coma? Neuro Goggle FMD. What's deadly? Flash. I've heard about it. It's the worst computer virus ever known. It was spread one network generation ago. The screen flickers really fast or something, and um. Didn't some people die from it? 
It's a virus that spread from Japan in December of 2003. It flashed on the computer monitor and affected the pituitary gland and resulted in consciousness disorders. Over several hundred million people were affected and seven people died. They caught the guy in Japan and it was the first case to fall under the network's safety law. As for the guy, I think he was put to death. He was given the death penalty, but he hasn't been put to death yet, I think. They say they're going to revise the network safety law in the next Congress. Does Japan have a Congress? Unless maybe they mean that, like, metaphorically. Uh, they're going to get rid of the death penalty clause. I'm thinking that guy won't be put to death because of this. Man, who would have thought a threat about neurogoggles would end up here? The FMD bashed on this board seemed to be doing pretty well. Can't tell if it's good or bad until you actually use it. Ultimate. New version again. WNC is the one saying the, that Ultimate is perfect. They're just cheering for the Ultimate company. I wonder if President Coleman is showing his true colors like Ultimate. President Coleman? Is this supposed to take place in the U.S.? Since, like, I wonder if that was if it's been localized because this was 2001 this was this was when japan was still kind of like they weren't localizing as hard um with some of their references remember pirate uh pokemon's jelly filled donut around this time so because that was let's see pokemon just had its 25th anniversary right because i think that so they've been going since the mid 90s so it could Oh, I've got new mail. All right, hold on. Before I do that, let's go to Delta. Um, so it could... Maybe the game sort of takes place in America just because that's the... I don't know. We'll see. Um, no, they keep talking about Japan here. Maybe it doesn't. I don't friggin' know. It doesn't matter. Let's go check our mail. <laughs> my glasses are sitting weird on my head. Anytime I look at the camera screen and make face it's because my glasses are making me tilt my head or at least it feels that way new mail did you read doesn't the missing post bother you i'm gonna look into it uh, oh okay the missing post oh that's alf so oh yep to orca it's bob i'm late but i got that thing you wanted i'll be at the area you said you'll take your friend P.S. Mailer seems to be hiccuping, so I wrote here. Hope it's not a problem. The area where you said you'd take your friends, so that's probably burning... Yeah, burning whatever... Bursting, yeah. Delta bursting past over Aquafield. There we go. Super newbie land. Meanwhile, in missing, no further information from Black Rose, but she is clearly worried about all this. So let's head there. Um... There is about a minute and a half left, and it's not like we're going to have to explore Delta bursting, etc. So let's just roll with it and we'll go a bit long. Delta bursting past over Aquafield. It's been a minute since we've been there. Huh? You're a friend of Orca? That's why you know this place. So, how is he doing? He... Pyro told Bob about Orca being data drained. That's incredible. That rumor, it can't be. Rumor? Orca also mentioned it. About there's something unknown lurking within the world. You never heard about it? Nope. That's what Orca was investigating? I don't have the details. Linda was asking him all kinds of questions. Maybe she knows more about it. Bob and Linda. She's probably at Delta, buried pagan fiery sands. Okay. Thank you. I'll check it out. Oh, and here. You now have secret reason. I think Orca was going to give this to you. Hmm. Well, 
we have things to do and we know we're prepared for it because the one of the posts that I do remember is that the hardest dungeon on Delta server is level 20 and the hardest dungeon on Theta server is level 30. So on Delta server, we're good. So that's going to do it for today. And tomorrow's episode, we'll check out that thing that Orca gave Bob to give us indirectly. And we'll check out that new keyword area and see what's going on. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.